What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Mini Motor Show. So, if y'all watched my video taking some scrap metal a couple months ago, you know, I had my 4x8 trailer with 4 foot walls on it full of scrap metal. And I had, you know, I had a good amount of weight in it. You know, I had probably like four, five, six, eight hundred pounds worth of shit. I mean, I could have fit a lot more in there and fit a lot more weight in there. And I could have also put a whole bunch of shit in the back of my truck. But, you know, scrap metal really isn't worth it to do anymore because prices have gone to absolute shit, right? Now, I mean, I have two car wheels sitting at my house with tires on them that I can cut the tires off with my sawzall you know with no problem and you know if I were to uh, if I were to you know if the owner of this store were to actually want to close up the store and get rid of the store you know there's things like these metal hat hooks and the metal square grids and you know stuff like those you know beams and like those metal hangers and stuff like that and there's a bunch of like metal grids on the walls and you know stuff like that and these little jewelry displays and shit like that but you know I could you know fill up my entire trailer and the back of my truck with you know all the racks and the grids and all this shit and actually have a lot of weight and then you know there's a sh uh, shooting range up the road there to where I know there's like a bunch of propane tanks and you know those little propane canisters for the George Foreman grills and shit like that that I can pick up and whatever so at that point it would be worth it because I would have more than enough weight but at the same time, I would probably only make about a hundred bucks off of doing with all. I mean, because this is only like a 990 square foot uh, store, but you know, there's enough there to where it, like the amount there's a good amount of weight, you know, because like even the grids that are on the walls hang to, for the clothes to hang on. Like this, there's like, what, two, four, there's like eight screws per thing with four mounts and then, you know, or four hooks that stick off the walls for the grids to hang on and then the grids themselves. Like I could fill up a 55 gallon metal drum with small things like the screws and the, the grid hangers and, you know, a bunch of other small shit from the store at, but you know at the end of the day you know the gross ton is 2240 pounds which is you know compared to a, a normal ton of weight which is 2000 pounds so they screw you over that way because you have to have more weight to get you know the same you know and it went from like 160 plus dollars a a gross ton down to like I'm gonna say like 50 bucks a ton so I, or something like that so it ain't worth it anymore for the most part you know which sucks because like I know like when metal prices were really high like I could fill up the back of my truck with a bunch of shit and make 40 50 bucks and it's literally the recycling place is literally right down the road from hanging out so I could literally drive the shit out there drop it off go to in and out pick up lunch like spend 15 bucks on lunch for myself and one or, one or two people that i was bringing it back for throw 20 bucks in the gas and you know if i needed it but i didn't need to all the time and i would still have 20 to 35 dollars left in my pocket so it was it was worth it and that was just with what i had in my truck and that was without having my trailer loaded onto my truck or full of shit either so you know yeah i would love to be able to you know pick up a bunch of scrap metal and take it back back out there but you know at this point you would have to have a semi truck 
with a dump trailer and have like brake rotors, brake pads, brake calipers, engine blocks, transmissions, axles, you know, or a bunch of small heavy shit like that in order to make any kind of money and even then that's a lot of money that you have to spend in fuel for that semi truck to drive it out there and back and you know pay for the insurance and registration on that truck and you know especially being a private tier person owning your own semi truck you know what i'm saying but yeah i mean if metal prices start picking back up you know i might do it you know just to help make some extra money because I figure, hell, if I'm out in the desert riding my dirt bike anyhow, and I find a, some pieces of scrap metal, I might as well do it and pick it up to help make some extra money. But at this point in time, I'm not going to go out of my way to do it. So, anyways, love you all. Be safe. Catch you on the flip side. Stay lum humble. Stay loving. Stay respectful. And help your neighbors. Catch you all on the flip side. Deuces, y'all.